I think this is a fantastic side to have to any roast. It's simple, it's delicious, it looks amazing, and it's a fab colour. Hi, I'm Becca, and I'm one of the chef tutors here at the Waitrose Cookery School. Today, we're going to be making braised red cabbage, a Christmas classic with a bit of a twist. We're going to start by slicing up our onion. So we're using a red onion today. It's got great sort of sweetness to it, but you could definitely use a white onion here as well. And just slice all the way down the onion and get some really nice thin slices. Now the onions are sliced and ready to go, I'm going to pop them in a bowl and just keep those to one side. So this is where we're adding in a little twist to our red cabbage. Apple's not normally in braised cabbage, but I think it adds a really great fruity sort of festive flavor. We're gonna peel our apple first. I'm using a cooking apple today, but if you just had an eating apple in, you could use that, that would be fine too. So we're gonna grate our apple up now. We're using the bigger side on the grater today, so we get nice chunky bits of grated apple in our cabbage. We can pop this to one side in a bowl as well, and then we're nearly ready to go. Okay, so finally we need to prepare our cabbage. We're gonna start by slicing our cabbage in half, so we've got two flat surfaces to work from. So anchor it down to the board and slice all the way through the middle. So we're gonna turn it over and then slice it pretty much the same as we did with the onion. We want to get nice thin slices of red cabbage. I love it when you start cutting into a red cabbage and it's got all this sort of ripple effect in the middle. It looks so nice. I think it's a very satisfying vegetable to work with. Once you get to the end, you can turn it over and carry on slicing. The great thing about this dish is it is actually vegetarian, so anyone can enjoy it. So we've prepared all of our vegetables now. They're good to go. We're gonna sweat our onion in 25 grams of butter. So we can pop that in the pan. We've got the pan on a medium heat, so I've got mine on number seven here, and it's just enough to melt the butter, but it's not gonna start burning. So once your butter is melted, you can add your onions straight into the pan. Once I've added my onions to the pan, I always add a little bit of salt. This helps to season the onions and also helps to start breaking them down in the cooking process. So once you've added some salt, just give them a good stir around, get them coated in all that really, really lovely butter. So at this stage, you might need to turn your hob down a little bit because you don't want the onions to brown at all. We just want them to cook down and go really, really sweet. I love the smell of onions cooking in butter. I don't think there's anything better. The onions have softened now and they're going really, really nice and sticky. So it's perfect to add in our next few ingredients. We're gonna start off by adding in some allspice. So add it into the pan and cook it off just for a moment or two. Then I'm gonna go in with a little grate of nutmeg. I love the smell of nutmeg. It definitely reminds me of Christmas. Okay, so the, once we've got our spices in the pan, we're gonna add in the red cabbage. So I'm just giving that a little mix around and then we're gonna add in our apple. And again, I'm gonna combine these together. The link to the full recipe is in the description below. Okay, so now we're gonna add in our sugar and our vinegar. So we're gonna go in with two tablespoons of light brown sugar. Then once you've got your sugar in, you can add in your vinegar. We're using red wine vinegar today and we're gonna go in with four tablespoons. So the brown sugar is gonna add sweetness into our braised red cabbage, along with the apple, of course. And the vinegar is gonna add a nice level of acidity. It's gonna help to stop the vegetables breaking down too much as they cook. Nobody wants mushy cabbage at the end of the day. I'm gonna add in 100 mils of cold water now. Then we'll give it a stir to bring it all together. So now we're ready to pop the lid on and leave this to cook on a medium to low heat for an hour until it's nice and soft and ready to eat. So it's had an hour to cook now and it's looking pretty good. The cabbage is all softened and it's smelling absolutely incredible. So all we've got left to do is just add in two tablespoons of red currant jelly. So this is gonna add a final bit of sweetness into our dish and give it a nice glossy finish. Give it a good mix around. That's gonna melt into the cabbage and it is looking really, really good. So at this stage, I like to just taste my cabbage, make sure it's got enough seasoning in there and everyone's gonna be pleased with it. Mm. That is pretty good. It just needs a touch of salt and then we're ready to go. So all those flavors are tasting really, really good to me now. So I think I'm ready to serve up. It looks great in a white bowl like this. 
really brings out all of the purple colour in the cabbage. So here it is, braised red cabbage with a festive twist. I think this is a fantastic side to have to any roast. It's simple, it's delicious, it looks amazing and it's a fab colour. So definitely give this one a try at home.